funny how things work out. We're going to go through an interview that Daisy Ridley did, and she's getting a little bit of backlash for it, which is really kind of funny if you think about the context of the past few years. Uh, if you had criticisms of Daisy Ridley's character, Ray, people would literally call you an istophobe and have all kinds of nasty things to say with you, how terrible a person you are and you need to be better. However, recently, in an interview she did with The Guardian, she had a few things to talk about considering privilege and she compared herself to john boyega who plays finn and said well she doesn't see any difference there and well you can already tell <laughs> you can already tell where this is going but before we get started i want to take a second and i want to talk about ridge wallet now if you've been following me for a long time you'll know i've never taken a sponsorship but I've decided to take one from Ridge Wallet. Why? Because they care about free speech. I'm sure you've seen other YouTubers that are similar to me in the type of content that I make. Ridge has probably sponsored them. Why is that? Because Ridge cares about free speech and they make pretty good products. I've always said if I take a sponsorship, it's going to be from a company I like. I like their products. Uh, they sent me the Carbon Fiber Wallet, which is the one you see right here in black. It's very nice. It's very slim. If you're kind of tired of sitting on a wallet like I was, you can put this in your front pocket. You barely notice it's there and it fits what you need. Like I put pretty much my main credit cards in there and I got my license and then I got a money clip for, for my money on the front. It works. It's nice. It's durable. It's got a lifetime warranty. And if you go to their website, you can check out the reviews. There's over 5,000 of them and they're all positive. Also, if you check out the links in the description. You'll find a link to the website. If you use the code FLASH, you'll get 10% off. Shipping is free. And if you order soon, you can get this as a Christmas present more than likely. I want to point out how cool they look. I think this is a great gift, especially if you're looking for a, for a present for your husband or your dad or something. I think you can't go wrong here. They're good stuff. They care about free speech. They support YouTubers that matter, and I think they're worth looking at. They have a great company. I like them. I wouldn't have picked them if I didn't like their products, and if I didn't like the company, I wouldn't be supporting them. So check them out. Check out the link and give them a try. So like I said, she did an interview with The Guardian, and they asked her a question. I'm going to go over what they said right here, and then we'll get to the spicy tweets because <laughs> now uh, she's no better than the next whitey. They don't like her. They don't like her now. She's an evil, she's an evil bigot. So, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker actress Daisy Ridley has attracted criticism following a recent interview with The Guardian. <laughs> criticism, eh? <laughs> Wait till you see these tweets. I got, I got some good ones. They have some in this article, but of course, Data Racer was kind enough to collect some and, and send them my way. I'm going to go over those. They're much better than what you're going to see in this. Daisy, who plays scavenger-turned-Jedi-apprentice Rey in the franchise, made comments in response to a question about privilege. When talking about her private education, Daisy replied by suggesting that she is no more privileged than her co-star, John Boyega, which has been met with heavy criticism on social media. So, of course, if you don't know who John Boyega is, it's uh, this fellow right here to the left of her in the picture. And, uh, well... You know how that's going to play out. <laughs> you know the Puritans don't like that. Ridley was asked if her background, including private boarding school and relatives who are established in the industry, has helped her to navigate the world of celebrity easier than her peers. The star replied, the privilege I have now? No, generally, how? When, report, when the reporter explained she met in terms of class and wealth and wasn't criticizing her, Ridley went on to suggest that her experiences weren't too dissimilar to those of her co-star, John Boyega. Boyega, who plays Finn in the franchise, was raised in South London by British-Nigerian immigrant parents and applied for a hardship fund to join Theater Peckman. Well, no, because no, John grew up on a special on a council estate in Peckman, and I think me and him are similar enough that no, the actress continued. So, looks like she got a little offended by that comment. And, of course, as you know, the butt hurt is going to pour in. How dare you? Like I said, I'd like to thank Data Racer 117 
for sending me these tweets. Make sure you give them a follow over on Twitter, DataRacer117. You can't stop me, I'm a Jedi from Jakku. So let us enjoy the cringe as they eat their own. Got this person here. Daisy Ridley is a typical white woman. Not wanting to admit their privilege because it shines a light on their complicity in the overall white supremacist system. Go Rose. And there's plenty more where that came from. White woman, hi Daisy. Do no one any favors by ignoring your privilege. We still face other challenges, but we have a platform because we are white. And until we start using our platforms to place intersectionality front and center, we are as bad as those who oppress us. And we got this one, bruv. Talk about how Daisy was tone deaf about privilege, but seriously, what else can I expect from a wagite woman? Daisy, with all of her rich privilege, saying there wasn't a difference between her and John growing up. Disappointing. Got this person down here. I like Daisy Ridley, but I don't have privilege in the film industry because I went, I went to a performing arts boarding school. Was certainly a choice stance to take. Daisy Ridley really said that she doesn't have privilege as a white woman? The bloody things I do for Daisy, lol. And that's from John himself on the 6th of December, 2019. And <laughs> there's a few more. But it brings up an interesting point that I think is worth pointing out is that these people will literally eat their own. Now, this is something that they were championing not that long ago. If you had any criticism for Daisy Ridley or Ray Skywalker, a.k.a. Ray Palpatine, uh, you were an istophobe and needed to sit down, punk. You need to sit your ass down, boy. But, uh, you know, if you liked her, well... You know, you were a champion, someone that's progressive and, and there and, and an open and a good person. But this is a quick example of how quick these people will flip around and eat their own. That's always been the saying, right? That the, that the social just people will eat their own. It's happening right here. I mean, personally, in my opinion, what a stupid question to ask. But this is the age we live in, right? Like, if you're going to be a celebrity and you're going to go do interviews, they're going to ask you dumb questions about this. Like, please tell me about your privilege. I'd love to hear about that. Why don't you critique it and talk about that? Like, like what a world we live in. Like, imagine, you know, you have a, a someone that's a star of Star Wars. Let's say, like, Star Wars was still a thing like it used to be <laughs> before Disney ran it through the mud and beat it to death like a like a dead horse on the side of the road. Let's say it was still that cultural relevant thing that it used to be. Like, when you do an interview with people about it, it should be about the movies and stuff like that. But no, now we have to sit up there and we have to hear the celebrities' take on on stupid social just stuff. Like, no one gives a damn about this except for these elitist critics and interviewers that infect Hollywood like a locust and a genital herpy. But, you know, because of that, celebrities have to prepare for these kinds of questions now. They do. And it's sad because most people don't give a damn about these stupid questions. But to the woke crowd out there in Hollywood, these things matter. She didn't properly prepare for that kind of question, obviously. And it bit her. It bit her in the rear pretty hard. And now they're literally crawling out of the woodwork to attack her. It's not a surprising thing. I'm not shocked at it at all. And you would have thought that she'd be a little bit more prepared for that. But she wasn't. And now she's getting a lot of scrutiny by the ravages of Twitter. I don't think this will go that far. I think they will let off on her because at the end of the day, uh, they've captured Star Wars. That's a critical piece of uh, culture that the Puritans hold now. And because of that, I think they'll let it go. But they're still going to they're still gonna take her through the ringer a little bit. And I want to point out, they'll probably never let this go. On the next role that she gets, on her next interview... She'll be expected to clarify these comments. She'll be expected to talk about them. And if she ever screws up again, uh, these will be flaunted in her face. That's the world we live in now. Cancel culture world. Anyway, uh, give me your thoughts on this. Do you think they're being too hard on her? Uh, do you think that these people are just crazy like I do? Give me your thoughts. What do you think about Star Wars in general? Uh, remember, 
comments and likes really help engagement, which propels videos through the algorithm. So your engagement with the video is most appreciated. Likes up or down, our interaction, I appreciate all of it. Comments are the biggest one. Please consider interacting with the video, it really helps. Also make sure you're still subscribed. If you're new, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Remember to check out the links in the description, code FLASH for Ridge Wallet. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.